to Dragon Quest VIII. Back again. It's exciting stuff. I'm excited about it. Hopefully you're joining me again. Uh, if not, this is, if this is your first time watching my stream, I'm a moron. You're probably not going to enjoy it. But hey, you might. I don't know. Who knows? Anything can happen. Uh, so let's talk about Dragon Quest VIII. I got into it a little bit yesterday. Um, just, you know, what the game's all about. Um, what's the best way to put it? Probably just watching opening cinematics. Dragon Quest VIII, open world RPG created by Level 5. With the assistance, yeah, with the assistance of Square Enix. Uh, Dragon Quest is a big JRPG. Big in Japan, not so big here. This was the last one put on a... Uh, I guess large-scale console. 9 and 10 were put on Nintendo DS. Though they share a very similar style to this one. Kinda sucks, I gotta be honest. It's not that great. It, I really... I liked it on console, and I wanted to buy 9, and I couldn't. And, uh, here we are now. <laughs> Playing 8, um, like a retro game. Because they don't make them anymore. These games would be sweet on PC. If I could launch these from Steam, it would be awesome. But this is the world, this is the world we live in. So what are you gonna do? Now, I just recovered from the save, I guess. They act like it's like a, almost like an inn at the church. Great goddess, thank you for welcoming back our great heroes. Um, it's not an inn, but they act like it is. So where am I going? I think I cleared out February in my last little sesh. Definitely cleared out February, and I need to go... I think I said to go south was the way to go. Let's go south. I think south is this way. I might be wrong, though, but yeah, this should be south, because nor yeah, north leads to the, uh, yeah, north leads to the shitty, uh, the, the, the kingdom you came from. The, king the kingdom is Tro, well, the kingdom is Trodane, I guess, that got all overrun with thorns by Dual Magus, which is why you went to Fairbury to look for, see, there's the waterfall cave. Where the, see, I don't have a world map, and that's what sucks, and I don't know how to get one, but I wish I could figure it out. Alright, I know exactly what I'm doing. Here we go. Let's get back on the road. How my guys looking? Pretty solid so far. So I made the mistake last time of um, wasting a bunch of points in club. I didn't think about this, but I'm pretty sure you only get a hundred. Oh, only a hundred skill points, and wasting nine in clubs apparently is pretty stupid. I went on to find, looking last night into it, actually this morning, about four minutes before I started streaming. What can I say? After you play this for three hours, man, you get pretty burnt out on it. It's just the way it is. Get him! Yoink. So we're gonna head into a new region, see some new monsters, hopefully some things are a little harder, a little bit more challenging, more interesting, more entertaining, I should hope. Uh, but I think everything's gonna be fine. Hopefully I won't get killed quite so fast. God, you remember that Beetle Boy? If you watched in the last play, one guy killed me. Slayed me. Well, didn't game over me, but killed, killed Chase, my main guy, and Yangus was the only one left. <laughs> by a slim margin. Thanks, guys. Bunch of sweethearts. Give me free XP and gold. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's funny. Playing Dark Cloud 2, there was a lot more action, and while I was in battles, I could just continue to talk about whatever I was talking about, but battles certainly ran shorter than they do here. I could kill things pretty quick in Dark Cloud 2. Especially using, you know, Max's gun. Left-hand weapon. Um, in this game, it's not that easy. It's, it's a little harder for me to talk through battles, I've found, and it's something that I was worried about when I started streaming. But something I want to do is I want to try to cultivate this whole streaming thing. I want to I want to get better at it, you know. The thing I do outside of this is radio, and radio, you gotta talk. You just do. Uh, and so I think learning to talk through even parts that are difficult, that don't give me a whole lot of material, can get me somewhere. So hopefully talking through that kind of thing will help me to become a better streamer, I guess. Yeah. What's the sign say? Can't be read from... Okay. <laughs> Checkpoint. Let's go this way. 
that this should be the way to go because you cross a bridge. I remember that. Then you cross the bridge and everything goes nuts. Actually, it's not too bad. But we are going to get to the Alexandria region, which is cool. Find some new things, hopefully. Things a little harder to beat. I always like that you can hear the horse bite. It's a nice touch. It's like, you know it's there, even though it's not. Uh-oh. Looks like Dual Magus came this way. Oh. Hey, somebody, uh... Somebody did some damage here. Wow! Hammerhood! Say, hey, I remember these guys. See ya. So I shouldn't have wasted points in Yangus' club. That was stupid of me. I think I'm gonna put points into his scythe ability from now on. That's that's gonna be the smart play. I want him to, yeah. Scythes and axes. Really, whatever I find in Alexandria, whatever. I think a scythe and axe is what he gets first. Besides, have the abilities to steal what items? That's pretty cool. That'll be handy. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how to spec my my team here because I know I only have two guys right now, but I end up with four, and you have to pick their different items and abilities and weapons and all of that, and that can greatly influence how the end of the game goes. A fencing fox. Ow. See ya. Hey, 20 XP, 16 gold coins. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, what do we got here? Got some kind of windmill thing. That's good news. I think. Ooh, I missed I missed a treasure chest, didn't I? I did. You guys didn't see it, and I didn't see it, but it's there. I promise. See, one of the things I did back in the day that a lot of people I know would disagree with, but I stand by, this is great, especially if you're just starting to stream and you're not that good at it. I bought the strat guide for this game. I did it back when I was a kid, okay? Back before the internet was a big thing. It's true. I mean, the internet was kind of a big thing when this game came out, but I had dial-up. My parents were cheap. I didn't have a choice. I couldn't get online and look at a free strat guide. It just wasn't the way it is. Plus, I like the art. In a way, it's almost like a collectible for the game. Users of our game collecting will understand. And I think, you know, back back then I wanted to 100% things, especially RPGs. These were my bread and butter, man. I'd stay up. I, I, these would be my Saturdays when I was a kid. This was it. That's why I'm here now, streaming. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get good. And, and I wanted to I wanted to be the best at it. Level 8, Yangus. HP 4, MP 1, Strength 4, Agility 1, Resilience 1. I guess it's five skill points. I'm not putting any more in the club, cuz fuck it. Um. I gotta pick axes or size at this point. Now, I know the hero is gonna go strength, so for Yangus, I'm gonna go sides. That'll be good. I'm not putting any more in the club. That got me through the beginning of the game, that'll be fine. I don't need anything else from him. You guys see it? There it is. Sons of bitches hit it. Nobody would have thought to look up there. Anyway, as I was saying, strat guides are handy. They just are. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, if you use those, you're not really gaming and you're, you're cheating. And then, No, I, I disagree. Especially in this case, when, my, when, I'm, when I'm concentrating on commentating, when I'm concentrating on, you know, talking about what's going on and trying to focus on my audience and less on, you know, the specifics in the game, it's cool to have a book that I can just look at that's got every, every, it can answer any question I have. I stand by, that's handy. If you think that's stupid for a Twitch streamer, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know any other streamers that do it, but... I think I don't know any other streamers, so there you go. Well, I know some, but I don't know any personally, you know what I mean. Slime earrings. Guess who's wearing that? Thanks, bud. Shape of slimes. How sweet. You wouldn't think your hero could wear them, but 
They can. Back then, earrings weren't that weird. Back then. Like this actually happened. Anyway, the thing with the strat guide, the reason I, I go off on this tangent is because, hear me out, the strat guide for Dragon Quest VIII sucks. It just does. Look, it's a Prima official, alright? Actually, it's not. It's Brady Games, signature series. Take your game further. It's just not that good. It's not. I don't know if whoever wrote it was, it was like their first time writing a strat guide. I... I don't know. But it's just not that... Oh, you son of a bitch. It's just not that good. Alright, uh, I don't want to die, so I'm going to go heal Yangus. Yangus is going to attack. There we go. Nice. Alright, this is going along. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, Kasap, right. You know, it's funny. On Final Fantasy titles, whenever a spell has excelled the next level of that certain type of spell. It comes with some kind of uh, extra couple of letters at the end, usually a consonant followed by a vowel. For example, fire, 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 right? It's followed by fire, followed by firega, followed by fireja. Just the way it is, I think. I could be wrong, because I haven't played Final Fantasy season a any Final Fantasy season in a while, because 13 sucked and disappointed me and made me sad. Um... Which is on PC now. Which is on Steam, and I'm like, fuck you guys. I bought 7, and I bought 8, and I'll probably buy 3 and 4. But you cannot make me buy 13 again. How stupid do you think I am? It's just not that good. It's just not. It's not. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people would disagree with me, but that's just that's, that's the way I feel. It's not that good. I should probably heal Chase at some point. Come on, he's only got so much defense to take! I never got how that works anyway. Defense decreases. You can't decrease the quality of your armor moment temporarily. You just can't. Unless you make it really hot or really cold. I'm pretty sure Kasap isn't doing that. Oh, shit. What does that do? Oh! Nap it on the job. Again. Great, Yangus. Thanks. Oh, now you're awake. Strat guide, not that good. Level 8 for Chase. HP 3, MP 3, Strength 2, Agility 1, Wisdom 2, 3 skill points. Yes. I could put them in either swords or spears for Chase. I'm gonna go swords. They're just simple. Um, there's another chest, it's not that far. Nah, I'll say at the end, screw it. It's not worth dying over. But I can just go get it later. I'm just a... I'm just an anal guy. Ha ha, ha ha ha, yeah, I got it, anal. Anal. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that, come on. Bangers and mash. To meet your maker! I'm gonna fuck these kids up. Watch this. This is gonna be sick. What on earth are you two rascals uh, up to now? Stop it at once. I was ready to go. You're about to get messed up, kids. We're losing some frames here, and I don't like it. I want Where it to stop. Are your manners. Miss Jessica asked you to run an errand for her, and here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot! You'd better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! Jessica sounds like a real bitch. I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. 
It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home. Yeah, definitely lose some frames up that way. It's just too much going on. Which sucks. It's always a downside of emulating. Never works, but I mean it works, but just not that well. Ooh, I got some new things I can buy. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What's in these uh I only need one scale shield because I find another one later, which is cool. Oh, Chase has higher defense than Yangus? Jesus. I should give him a slime image. How the hell did I get that to happen? Tower of Ale Alexandria, I'll find another one, so there's no reason to buy one now and waste my money. Um, everything else, I think, I should purchase. So just one scale shield and kind of one of everything else, too. No. Forget that back equals go in this game. It's funny that the item guys switch now. Now the big guys, are, you know, yeah. Can I buy a scythe? There's, okay, there's an axe. That's not what I need, but... I guess I'll just keep using the mallet I've got. Uh, surprisingly, I don't need anything from this guy. Unless I want the axe, which I don't, because I'm leveling scythe, so... That's awesome. Save some money there. Just blow it on this guy. Hmm. Let's see. Let's buy some armor. I don't think... Actually, I should be able to afford all this. Sell my old shit. Always an important part of the RPG process. I'm gonna buy the leather kilt for Yangus. Should be on my way. Angus, sell the boxer shorts, because why not? Nice, a nice little touch, a twinge of comedy in this serious, serious game. Not that serious. Awesome. We move some shit around, because I'm a scumbag. Not a scumbag. I, I don't, you know. You guys know. If you've played any RPG and you understand RPG management, you, you understand the whole process. It's just important to move shit around. It bugs you, it does. Awesome. Um, who's got higher... 38 defense, 33 defense. Well, oh, Yangus has more health, so I'm fine with that. I gotta go crashing in. First off, let's do a little exploring, though. Get that out of the way. It's important to explore new areas, get new stuff, things happen. Meet new people. Be a social adventurer. In contrast to my anti-social behavior. <laughs> In real life, I mean. Let's see. Got anything cool? Nope. Hey, 11 gold coins and medicinal herb. You are not the worst peasant in Alexandria. I'm sure I'll find him, it's just not you. Let's see, you got some turnips? Cabbages? You know, got on, on PlayStation 2, who fucking knows what those are? I'd get, yeah, they gotta be cabbage. They gotta be. They gotta be. Ice, no, nah, it's not iceberg lettuce. It's not cold enough. I actually have no idea if it has to be cold to grow iceberg lettuce. I just assume, because, you know, the name, iceberg. 
I'm a peddler. I traveled about selling my wares. I came through the western checkpoint to get here. It was very strange. It looked like it had been broken open by some kind of terrifying force. I wonder what it was. I know. Do you? It's dual magus. Uh, cat? Meow. Meow to you too. What's going on with you? My dad says a woman like Miss Jessica are really va va voom. What do you think he means? I wonder if I can be va va voom. Oh, I know what he means. Your dad's got the hots for Miss Jessica. That's what that means. Let's be real. <laughs> Ew. It's a quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Newsflash! You can get different information from the same people depending on whether it's day or night. It's like a town that has two faces. And remember, the things you may not sound... The things you hear may not sound particularly important at first, but you never know what may come in handy later on. Jesus, I fucked that up twice. Good lord. You'd think I was a... Uh, not a professional. Even though I'm not... Uh, uh, okay, look. In my defense... Not being able to read shit or talk well. It does say on my profile, gaming with the radio unprofessional, okay? I made a point of that. Get some sleep. Relax. Some kind of hair on my microphone. Sorry about that. Shh. Let's keep it down. People are sleeping. Don't be sleeping. Fuck it. Fuck it! Actually, my neighbors are probably sleeping. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. They know, they know I'm a weird guy. They don't, actually. My neighbors know nothing about me. <laughs> What's going on with you? Ah, hello again. Sorry those little rascals were causing you grief before. No doubt you've heard of the Albert family. They live in the mansion at the top of the hill. Lady Rosalind and Miss Jessica have shut themselves away inside ever since Master Alistair's death, the poor lambs. Aw. And she's looking at his grave. It's morbid. Master Alistair's father passed away, so... Although he was still young, he was the head of the Albert House. Why, why so? I think it was a typo. I just can't believe this has happened. I dread to think his poor mother and sister, Miss Jessica, must be feeling. Must be hitting Miss Jessica particularly hard. The pair of them were always inseparable. Did not mean to talk to you again. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. I. Yeah, it's gotta be rough. Must be. Yes. Okay. Master Alistair came from an important family, but he never lorded it over us. He always guarded the village for us, you know. What a terrible waste, a lovely boy like him being killed like that. What is the world coming to? What is it? Hop down the well, shall we? And... nothing. Once again teaching me that although there was something in the well at the beginning, there will not always be something in the well. See, it's either a combination of lazy development or clever game writing. Because I find that when you're, you're able to teach gamers concepts that they didn't expect, such as that, it's good. Because I was expecting something to be in the well and there was nothing. And it was a nice way to say, hey, we're not always going to give you something nice. We're not going to give you all the goddamn handouts. You don't get everything. Just some things. Faithful servant of the goddess, how may our church assist you? We'll, uh, throw a save out. Why not? Take a drink of my ice cold ginger ale, which really quenches the thirst at uh, 8:28 a.m. Let me tell you, broadcasting from Texas is where I am. It's pretty exciting. All right, do you wish to do you do you intend to continue on your adventure at this point, my child? Yes, yes, I do. I hate that it asks me that. I genuinely do. I hate that there's any kind of basically save button or reset button that I can hit just by clicking one button over and over. That bugs the shit out of me. I didn't like it when old games did it then, I don't like it now. It's bad news. I will always screw that up. I'm, just, I'm a moron. I will. Thanks for nothing. I think I already... Did I talk to you? I don't remember. I definitely talked to you. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna get out my map app like I saw something cool and get out of here. Thanks, bud. Uh, what's going on in your house? If I can get up the stairs. A couple of peeps. Some gold. Got our chimera wing. Just hoping there'll be gold. There's gold in them hills. Nope. Uh, let's talk to you. We always go and see the statue... I, I don't know. The statue of Alexandria once a year. It's what keeps me hanging on, you know. We're all supposed to be going again not long from now, but I doubt that'll be possible under the circumstances. We only go to the Eastern Tower once a year on Alexandria's Day, a holy day, when there are no monsters about. 
Still quite way off. My father's already down in the dumps about not being able to go this year. Must be rough. Now, I got that tip earlier about, uh, what? Checking the place out at night. So after I finish all this bullshit that I'm sure is going to come up in here, I'll go check it out. I have no idea what I'm what to expect. It's something about, I gotta run around the house or something. Some, uh, yeah. But hey, it's a mansion, which is cool. I haven't, I haven't seen one of those yet. Welcome to the Albert family residence. Yeah, thanks. I'll enjoy my stay. I'll make myself at home, thank you very much. Just keep strolling around outside. I'll let myself in. Wow, this is fancy. There's never any need for a guard here in the past. I was hired just after Master Alistair died, so I'm quite new here, really. That doesn't mean I'll be putting up with any shenanigans, though. Make sure you behave inside the mansion, you hear? Yeah, whatever you say. Excuse me. <laughs> the guy's checking me out. He's like, where the fuck is this guy going? Mansion, much like a TARDIS, is bigger on the inside. And I say that because I don't like Doctor Who. It's, it's not good. I, I, in my defense, I watched all of Nine... And I got a, a ways in, in, into 10, David Tennant, but I, I couldn't get into it. It's just, I, I couldn't. One for me. It's not that it's bad. It's I don't like it. That's all. I know Doctor Who fans are pretty hardcore about their show. Hey, Pots. Gold. Jeez. Jesus, sweet. Have you happened to catch any of the Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play? I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the cheese in video games. And level 5 does it right. Jesus is a big part of this game. A lot of shit happens with cheese. I didn't read any of what that guy said. I saw them, you know. Miss Jessica and her poor mother are even like cats and dogs. What were they arguing about? I don't rightly know. Something about revenge, that's all I could gather. Hey, who are you? To be honest, I never really liked Miss Jessica all that much. I don't tell anyone I said so, though. It's just, she's never really friendly to us house staff, and she's always arguing with her poor mother as well. But I do sympathize with her now. I mean, her only true friend in the world was her brother, Master Alistair, so now she's all alone. See, I thought Alistair was her father. Good to know it's her brother. Huh, I got some picks and some housemaid. Are you travelers? What a life that must be. I wish I could leave off all... Leave all my worldly... something. Oh dear, listen to me. If the mistress heard me, I'd be out on my ear. Then I'd have no choice but to travel. Yeah, life ain't so bad, is it? You act like being a traveler is like being a goddamn vagabond. I'll have you know, I very much enjoy being an adventurer, and pretty soon, I'm pretty sure Jessica's gonna enjoy it too. And she's va va voom, they say. Let's see what that's all about. <laughs> Congratulations! You have the great pleasure of meeting I, the world famous poet Lorenzo! Not only am I the son of the Chancellor to a large and prosperous kingdom, but I'm also the lovely Jessica's fiance. Yes, that's me! She lost her brother recently, so I came here today to comfort her, but I seem to be faced with an unexpected obstacle to our love. There's some brats in front of her room who won't let me in. Sons of bitches. Ah! The sea of true love is strewn with the flotsam of despair, but I shall crest the waves of adversity and find harbor in my lady's bosom. 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 It's bosom. God damn it. What's going on here? It's a book entitled Cheeses of the World. See? Cheese. The world in which we live is blessed with an astonishing variety of cheeses. Some of them have even more astonishing effects. Spicy cheeses will have you spitting fire. Cold cheeses that refresh as they chill. And it goes without saying that they all taste simply wonderful. Cheese is tasty. Cheese is healthy. Cheddar. Cheese makes the world go round. That's an exciting book. How about this one? It appears to be a book about the history of the Albert family. The history of the Albert family begins with Alexander Cranbottle, a gifted sculptor, skill... skill skilled swordsman and capable magician. Alexander was a truly unique individual who left his mark on history in a variety of ways, fully deserving his reputation as a great sage. His descendants reap the benefits of a prestigious and noble bloodline. It would do well to remember that they have a responsibility to uphold the high traditions of their ancestry. Alright, so clearly there's some pressure to be awesome. I understand that. I could totally understand that pressure. <laughs> I understand completely. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rosalind Albert. Jessica's mom, also brother of Alistair. No, mom of Alistair. Sadly, my family is currently in mourning. No one is permitted to set foot outside the house. I'm afraid that my daughter is less than happy about this arrangement and has confined herself to her room. She's even asked the boys to stand guard at the door. I'm sure I don't know what got... Ah, I sure don't know what's got into her. Me neither. Let's get... Okay. Whole lot of nothing there. That was the most pointless hallway I've ever seen in my life. What's going on back here? Oh, a third floor. 
This is a mansion indeed. A set of Wayfarer's clothes. Can't wait to sell that. That's some, <laughs> that's some low tier shit. Uh, let's set up. Oh ho ho. That mouse hole's gonna be important. It's not right now, but it will be. I remember. I remember that part. When we're bulb, don't know what that does, but I'm gonna find out. 18 gold coins. Seed of magic. Sorry, broke pot. Excuse me. I have not been doing their voices right at all. I've been butchering these. See ya. See? See? Did you see it? Just now? I saw it. What am I going to do? Jessica's room is on the other side of that wall. Oh dear. That will be good news for me in a minute. It's not now, but it will be. Let's go talk to Bangers and Dick over here. Alright, assholes. Whoa! Alright. You look a bit like thieves to me. I'll bet you are. I'm never wrong either. Sure. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry about before, but not sorry enough to let you through here. I'm under orders, see? Jessica said she doesn't want to see anyone. I can't let people through. Assholes. Major assholes. I mean, they're kids, but they're assholes. Let's be honest. They're, th they're a hindrance. Whether they were adults or kids, either way, in the video game world, I still think they suck. Searches the area around his feet. There's a hole in the wall. It's just large enough for a mouse to fit through. Send Munchie through the hole? Oh, yeah. Munchie the mouse, mind you. The mohawk. Munchie the, the mohawk mouse. There we go. Oh, yeah. And I can roll. Now, if you don't think this is this is, this is adorable shit, you're, you're wrong. I mean, look. Are you under here? I can't. Yep, I can roll, and that's about it. Pretty cute. Look at him. Little fucker. Rolling shit. Yeah, I can get on board with it. Alright. You said Jessica's room was right through this wall, but so far it looks like you're wrong. I'm gonna try to go down here and see what this is all about. I don't think I can take the stairs. I think I can go... I think I can... Nope, I can take the stairs. I can't get... Oh, damn it. Well, now I gotta go... Now I gotta take the stairs. Here we go. Yeah! That was an adrenaline-fueled throw ride. Nice broom. Let's 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 check out this note. Uh, Jessica's not even in here. What a bitch. Add up the broom. Whoa! Snag the letter. Cause Munchie can't actually read, so it makes sense that you know he can't just tell me what it says. I got the letter. He stashed it. God knows where. Set back up the stairs. Now, how am I going to get up the stairs? I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. And if you don't think I'm a clever son of a bitch, it actually makes sense, because I told you I have the guidebook in front of me. I didn't look at this. I do actually remember this. Like I said, the guidebook sucks. All it shows me is the map of the place, and it literally said, when necessary, send Munchie through the hole. That's it. That's all, that's all I got. That is my only clue. It doesn't even tell me anything about the boss. It gives me some basics on what enemies will be out. It tells me where some treasure chests will be. Um, I don't know who will find this letter. I guess I'll just pay attention and listen to this for now. But please consider it my last will and testament. For by the time you read this, I will already be gone. I am going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother. I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation. But this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me, and to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. Hmm. Puts in the bag. Interesting. Somebody came along and put these barrels back. 
sons of bitches. You know, I'm not, I would break them. This should be an asshole, but I'll let them slide this time. Just this once, because I broke pretty much every barrel in their house, and I understand that people have jobs. If I broke all those barrels, God only knows what would happen. Somebody, somebody would be out of work. Alright, morons. She's not in her room! Ha! I knew you were dodgy from the first moment I saw you, so don't think you can pull one over on me. There's no way she's not in her room. So prove it! You can't say something like that without proof? Are you a complete thicko or what? A thicko. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm gonna let you stay there for a while, morons. Let's get out of here. That's boogie. This place sucks anyway. Alright. Something I said I was gonna do that I'm gonna do, even though I don't know if it's actually gonna lead me anywhere, is I'm gonna sleep till night. And I'm gonna go snag that chest and come back. That'll give me some good training, and I'll get to talk to some new people in town and might learn some new things I didn't know before. Like where some treasure might be. So I'll stay till evening. How's that? Eight gold coins. You know, the guy in the town over was charging six. Rest until evening. Bunch of fucking cheapskates. You're in as rats. Oh, nice. There's people sleeping now. That's cool. It's evening. Alright, um. I already talked to that guy, but I might talk to him again because it's night and things change. Things are different. Let's have a chat. Sir. You were in the Albert Mansion early on today, weren't you? No. Liar! I've been watching you from here for ages! Why would you lie like that? Oh, fuck you. Fuck it, I'll bite. You were in the Albert Mansion early on today, weren't you? Yes. What was going on in there? Was there a smarmy looking man saying awful things to Miss Jessica? I'd have to dash in and save her if there was. Be your knight in shining armor. Not that I'd actually have the nerve to do it, knowing me. Oh! Nothing untoward, you say? Oh, then that's a relief. What an asshole. Ma major asshole. Let's have a chat with this bitch. Why are you up so late? Master Alistair came from an important family, but he never lorded over us. He always guarded the village for us, you know. What a terrible way it's the only boy like him being killed like that. What is the world coming to? Hmm. I'm gonna try the well again, because it's nighttime and cool things happen. Nope, I'm just a moron. Here we go. Not a whole lot going on in this church. So I'm not real worried about that. I probably should save, but I have confidence in me, so we're just going to go for it. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to snag a chest real quick and come back, that's all. Nothing, nothing complicated. He's hoping I don't get my shit pushed all the way in. No, these aren't so bad. There's just a lot of them. Smack. Crackle. Pop! Rice Krispies. I skipped breakfast for this, you know? I did. Skipped a meal. Stream. It's exciting stuff. I do love streaming. Though. God, it's fun. It is. It's 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 totally. I mean, it is gaming, but it's gaming with uh, some kind of purpose, you know. Gaming with friends, almost. It's fun. I like doing it, even if I'm not that good at it yet. I think somebody just knocked on my door. I sincerely hope not. I'm not, I'm not a, I can't accept company right now. That would suck. Yeah, that'd be bad. That'd be bad news. God, you ever hear about the streamers getting swatted? That sucks, dude. I would hate that. I really would. I would hate that so much. I'd be so pissed if I got swatted. You have no idea. I don't have anything to hide, mind you. I just don't want that to happen. That, that would blow. 
Huh. I thought there was some kind of chest over around this way. Oh, son of a bitch, a beetle boy. Alright, well, if I gotta run, that's gonna happen, because those guys, that guy kicked my ass last time, given I was like four levels lower, but still, still a challenge. Why are you napping? Why? Oh, Jesus, now you're knocked down. Oh, you fat fuck. Maybe if we took it easy on the pies every once in a while. Ow! Alright, please nobody put my party to sleep. Because it's getting pretty old. Alright, one down. <laughs> I didn't kill him, but that's okay. Alright, this Beetle Boy is about to get what's coming. This is for killing my ass last time. How do you like me now? Alright. Let's find this goddamn chest. I think it's up. Is it? It's up here somewhere. There it is. I was gonna say, maybe it despawns at night? I, I, actually, I honestly don't know. 100 gold coins. You see what I mean? How I kind of unlocked this area after beating the last area? That's that's what I mean by open world. Like, it is open, but... You unlock it in chunks. 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 My, my voice is correct. <sighs> Gotta be honest, night out here? Not so bad yet. Don't get me wrong, I've only had like two fights and I'm getting my ass kicked, but... With heal, I'll be fine. Haha! <laughs> 40 experience, 32 gold coins. I don't know why I felt the need to laugh maniacally when I smacked the shit out of that guy. <laughs> now it's all good. Um, I got enough XP for it. MP for it. I like that heal costs 2 MP. That's a nice touch. It could be a lot shittier. <laughs> it's just good. It could be good. Yeah, it could. It could be a lot shittier. Uh, okay, good. You can fall off ledges. I didn't think you could. That's uh, that's that's good news for me. Bodkin and a couple of drag mages. Might be Bod. It's probably Bodkin. Uh oh. Be still, my heart. One HP. Yeah, so the only thing that spawns out here at night is Beetle Boy. Everything else is the same shit. Okay, so night really isn't that bad here. Considering I can take Beetle Boys on and I get good XP from them, they're, they're a smart fight. Drac Mages suck, though. You get nothing from them. 9 XP. Yeah, I'm really gonna break that. Yeah, break the. Bank the. I'm really gonna break, break the bank on those guys. Beach here. Didn't expect to. Oh shit! There's five of these guys. Didn't expect a beach. I'm sleeping. Please don't put the. God damn it. Status effects can be a real bitch sometime in RPGs. I mean, always, but... I mean, that's what makes this fight hard, that I keep fucking sleeping. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Let's kill some of these guys.
Alright, come on, fellas. Something on my microphone and it's bugging me. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not gonna get it. I, I gotta. Ugh! It does bug me. It genuinely does. It's bo okay. No, I think I got it. I didn't. I didn't get it. Yes. There's more. Jesus, it's like a little vacuum for hair and bullshit. Fuck it. Fuck it. I. It, it's not gonna happen. Not this fight. Maybe the next one. And in the wake of all of that, yes, I did manage to beat these guys. 65 XP. That's what I'm talking about. Some sweet returns. My hard work. Um, yeah, everything's pretty pretty good. There's a treasure chest at the end of that beach. You see it? But I'll, I'll, I'll aim my guy so his head is under it. Just above those trees top center of the screen. Those palm trees out on the beach, there's a little red chunk and red and gold in the middle. That's the chest. That's what I'm going for. And when you get down to the beach, monsters get a little harder. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. So... Here's what we... Oh, fuck. This is what... This is actually... This has the potential to be a hard fight. Unless I can kill these guys pretty quick. Go one down. Now I'm killing them first, even though the Beetle Boy does more damage because they can put me to sleep, which can really fuck me. Unless they both dodge like a couple of slick bastards. <laughs> you slippery fucks. I love you. I do. Thank you, Yangus. All right, now these guys. Whoops, didn't mean to attack the Beetle Boy, but maybe Yangus will kill him in one hit since I think Beetle Boys only have 16 XP. I was wrong. Well, they only have 16 hit points. That's true, but I, he didn't kill him in one hit. There we go. Switch it up. Freak him out. They won't. They won't know what's coming. Now, how am I going to play this for three hours today, you ask? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I do. I, that's one of the reasons I got up at 7 a.m. So I get online and stream this stuff. So that's one of the things I like about streaming, that it makes me feel like I have a purpose in gaming, besides just for my own means, you know? It's more than masturbation. It's pornography. Uh, let's see. Maybe the wisest words I ever said during a stream. It's more than masturbation. It's pornography. Yep, it's time to heal. I know I'm wasting some, some points on healing chase, but I don't care that much. It's 2 MP, Jesus. What the fuck is that thing? Jesus Christ! Glad I healed! Was that some crawfish bullshit? Look at that thing! Looks it's big and pissed off. Oh, God, <laughs> it's big and pissed off. All right, I got an idea. Whoa, he did the cast too. Asshole, how did he hit and get that? Oh, you fucker! And he snuck some of my MP, motherfucker. Ah! All right, uh, I'm gonna heal me. Yangus will attack. See, I'm glad I healed. That was a smart move. All right, asshole. You're about to get yours. Ow! That was ow! There. What is this thing? It's gotta be a yabby. Yep. 41 HP. Jesus. Those things are hard. Hey! Yangus goes to level 9. It's important to level up. One of the things that is nice about the guide is it tells you before each section. Oh, by the way, 4 HP, 2 MP. 3 Strength, 2 Agility, 1 Wisdom, 1 Resilience, 5 Skill Points. Tells you for each section what level they think you should be, which is cool. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. 
I don't know when I'm gonna get my first scythe for Yangus, but when I do, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be tits. So uh, we'll work on that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna up his humanity. Ah, fuck it, I'm scythes. That'll be fine. Thirty-two gold coins. All right. Maybe if I stand up here, I won't get. Oh shit! There's a infamous monster. Maybe if I stand up here, I won't get fucked. Is what I was gonna say. Um, twenty and twelve. Considering I only have eight MP, it's not worth wasting my heals. But hopefully, I don't fucking die going for this chest. Good, that guy hadn't figured out that I'm here yet. Seed of strength. Sweet. We get the fuck out of here, because the beach sucks. Also, it's day now, so there's that. Fighter of the night, man. Ah! Man of war, huh? Ow! Ow! Sons of bitches. And it's still standing. Wow, shit. Man of war has 35 HP, so this guy's almost toast. Also, Genghis is almost toast. That should be fine. Let's see, Pulsum, yeah. Golden. Hmm, 46 XP, 24 gold. Man of War drops a chest chest. A Moonwort Bulb. I didn't actually figure out what that does, so while I'm healing here, let me do that. Heals? These heals are important. Not even healed all the way. That's how you know you're gonna level it up, that you're getting good, that... You don't heal all the way. Uh, what is a Moonwork Bulb? This thing. Vex Paralysis. Nice. I'll take it. Seed of Strength. Seed of Magic. Strength of a single ally. I'm gonna hang on to this because magic is ever-changing. Strength, however, is pretty, you know... Actually, I'll hang on to that too because I'm pretty sure Jessica's strength is shit. So I'll hang on to that. Uh, normal Everyday Cheese. Also heals you for a bunch, I think, and is great for <sighs> synthesizing. I don't know what they call it. the melting pot, whatever they call it in this game. I need something that heals MP. That'd be sweet. I don't have one of those yet. All right, well I'm back on the trail. It's daytime. Time to head back to Alexandria, and then we'll head towards the Tower of Blood Bullshit, whatever it is. I'd like to do a little bit more grinding, but it's cool. I got the chests I needed. It's fine. Vodkin Archers. Get him! Kick his ass! Alright, that was a breeze. I love those little fights in RPGs where you can just press X over and over and over again. Or in this case, since I'm on 360 controller A. And you know that you're gonna you know that you're gonna kick its ass. You just know. Like you're gonna kick its ass. It's gonna happen. I think that the forest, uh, much like the beach, is textured a little differently, considering right now I'm in forest. It counts it as uh, A different area, so you get different monsters, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Why am I asleep now? Why, why, why are you both asleep? Stop being asleep. Don't do that. Get him! Smack him! <laughs> Ow. Ow! Sweet. Hey! Chase goes to level 9. HP 7, MP 3, Strength 3, Agility 2, Wisdom 2, Resilience 1, 2 skill points. Where are they going? Swords. Hey! Proficient Swordsman. Dragon Slash. 45 gold coins. Dragon Slash is cool. I'll show you guys how that works. I gotta be honest. 
there's something going on behind the scenes here that you guys don't aren't seeing. Maybe you are, but I don't think you are. Twitch is looking like it's working really slowly. And I'm displeased by this, because this is where my video is. I'm not recording this secondarily. I mean, maybe I should be. That was a breeze. Good XP, good gold. This is all. These are all good things. Some good vibrations. That's what this is. Also, I'm, I've decided to leave all infamous monsters because infamous monsters will absolutely push your shit in. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm at too low level low of a level to handle that right now, and I think even when you get up there, they're still pretty goddamn hard. So, two fencing foxes and a drac mage. Two fencing foxes and nothing else. Ow. Yeah, Twitch is being weird. In my video preview on my dashboard, I'm running at about one frame a second, and it's bugging me. I don't know why it's doing that. I want it to stop, because I don't know if it's affecting my stream or not. So if you happen to be watching, uh, and it is, let me know, and if not, if the stream looks fine, then that, that's fine, I don't care, but I, I would like it to look good, because, you know, beautiful game, and it deserves it, and also, I like people watching. Let's hit the end, get some sleep, then we'll head to Port Prospect, Port Prospect, we'll head to the Tower of Alexandria, because I think it's the Tower of Alexandria, wherever Jessica went, I think it's the Tower of Alexandria, and apparently Jessica... Is va va voom. That's what they say. Va va voom. Stay overnight. Yes, please. <clears throat> Got lots of money. These are all good things. Alright. Let's get back on the road. And also, I like people watching. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's working or not. I think it's working. I, I hope it's working. Twitch says my stream configuration quality check three minutes ago was excellent. Streaming on Twitch can be an exciting thing. <laughs> it can also be a stressful thing. A skipper and a fung owl. Fung howl. Fung a Fungool. That's it. It's fungool. What else would it be? It's fun plus ghoul, fun ghoul. Even though he's not, in fact, a fun ghoul. God damn it! What with that double smack shit? 25 experience points, 22 gold coins. I'm on board with it. Alright, so we're going to that windmill tower thing. Just so you have an idea. Tower of Alexandria is what, it called, what it's called. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Three hammer hoods, and the hammer hoods make the first strike. Oh, of course. Yeah, this tower's gonna be weird. Mm. Yeah, the map is a whole goddamn mess with this place. It really is. That'd be fun. You can always consult the guide if all else fails. Here we go. Back on the road. It's exciting. I know. Alright. Tower of Alexandria. The second real dungeon in Dragon Quest VIII. First being the Waterfall Cave, after Fairbury. Hmm. I think there's a chest around the back here, but I can't remember which side, or even if there is one. There's, I think there's one. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Let's go check it out, see what happens. 54 HP. No, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with, with taking a hit when I have 54 HP. Or then missing a hit when I have 54 HP. 
Oh shit, I unlocked Dragon Slash. I haven't even used it yet. I gotta check that out. Next fight. We'll remember. I'll remember. I'll try. I, I won't remember. I'll forget. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll remember at some point. Alright, so that's a pretty little area. Some nice... Got a nice music. I'll take it. Alright, and I can't go any further there. I think there's a chest in the back, though, which is good news. I... Alright, abilities. Sure. Now, what is the cost of Dragon Slash? Does it cost me MP, or what? Maybe nothing? Maybe I can just do it every time ever, and that's it? Why does Yengis have 6 HP? Holy Christ! When, the, when did that happen? What was I doing? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, nothing good has happened to this guy. Yes, Yengis, you're healed. You're good. You're, you're golden. You're golden, bud. Dragon Slash does the exact same damage as a normal attack. I don't know why it's so much better. I saw a fireball, but the fire damage that'd be nice, but I don't think it does. Don't don't get me wrong, I will use Dragon Slash on any kind of boss, because Dragon Slash sounds a lot cooler than just normal attack. And if it sounds cooler, it's gotta be cooler, but, but I think Yeah, there's a chest on that side. Let me run around. I don't have a map here yet, so that's no good. Um looking pretty good on heals, which is cool. Health and whatnot. Let's run around this side. You know what the music reminds me of? Princess Mononoke. Spirited away. Very very ghibli around here in the Tower of Tower, yeah, Tower of Alexandria. Smack him! Oh, really? This have 18 health. Damn, I figured I'd kill him for sure, otherwise I would have. Damn it. No. Now you're toast. Ow! Asshole. Mm. Heal is at least 30 HP. It can be more. Good to know. But 30s are good. Okay, so there's no getting in there. Well, I guess I'm just going to go in. And uh, running around has been a huge waste of my time and health. Really, all of my resources. Maybe I'm not going to go in. The door's locked. Okay. So how do I get in? How do I get in? How do I get in? I think I have to talk to Jessica's mom. I don't know why it just sounds right. I'm probably wrong, though. Huh. Shouldn't have attacked this guy first. That was stupid. Even though I will probably end up killing him. Yep. These guys can put you to sleep. I should have gotten rid of them. Mm. That'd be fine. I think it'll be alright. I do. I'm confident. Three fun ghouls. They are fun, after all. Ha ha ha! Bunch of assholes. You guys look awful. Your attacks are bad, you should feel bad. That bad breath spewed sleep shit does suck, though, I gotta be honest. That's no good. That sucks always. Any status effect attacks always suck. I know that's uh, that's where a lot of the fun in RPGs comes from, but they really they really do suck. Let's, let's be real, just, just for just a second. How do I get in here? How 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 does this work? I think I just climbed the vines, but no. I'll head back to town. I think Jessica's mom knows something I really do. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel like a total dick. The training will be good anyway, though. I think sleeping in. Fine. Great draw distance in this game. I think. I see things pretty far away. Alright, well I don't know what that was, but it was a bunch of bullshit. Ow. Yeah, I guess if you've been a little quick on the draw, you could have saved Chase a hit. Nice. Gosh. 
He uses a mallet, just lays him the fuck out. Like, good lord, I feel bad for the guys. There's a whole sub community of people in Dragon Quest VIII devoted to figuring out which skills and which weapons are the best in the game. It's pretty interesting. There are whole builds you can develop for each character. It's nuts. I'm a simple guy. I just want to pick one and roll with it, but that's just me. It sucks you only get 100 skill points. That makes it harder. If you could just keep leveling, if you got unlimited, then I wouldn't care. I'd be like, well, well, who cares? But I already dropped nine in club, and everybody's telling me that was the wrong move. So it's like, well, why the fuck did I do that? By making things easier at the beginning of the game, I've made them harder in the end game, and that was stupid. But I didn't know any better. I was a kid. I was younger then. 24 hours ago. I'm still a child at heart. I sit around and play goddamn video games. <laughs> Whatever, man. Video games are a blast. It's like watching a movie, except I'm the main character. It's fun. Nothing else is like it. No other entertainment medium is like video games. It's exclusive. It's unique. It's fun. Now, I know this is going to sound stupid, but I thought this guy had a different mallet than what Yangus has. No, Yangus has that one. Nope, I'm good. Thanks, though. Got everything I need. Just gonna save my cash. Crash at the end. Talk to Jessica's mom. I'll save, and then we'll go back. But I didn't save before I went there, which was a stupid thing to do. Definitely save. That's an important, uh, that's an important step. I will stay overnight. You heartless wench. Charges me eight gold coins. The guy the town over charges six. Bunch of, it's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. Who knows what's going to be in the next... It's probably going to be 10. It's going to be 10 in the next town. Maybe 12. I'm going to have to pay it. Because I don't want to run back. Assholes. It's a pyramid scheme, the whole thing. As you climb the ladder of success, you must pay more to sleep in shittier inns. You know, for being such prestigious motherfuckers in Alexandria, um, this this mansion they got some, they got a real rat problem. Let's be real. They just, they do. I, <laughs> they got some vermin. Okay, the guard's gone now. That's interesting. Let's talk to you two fuckers. I feel like you know something. Show him Jessica's letter. Sure. Chase reads Jessica's letter. I don't know who will find this letter. Actually, Jessica reads Jessica's letter. But please consider it my last will and testament. For by the time you read this, I will already be gone. I am going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation. But this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. What? A, a letter from Jessica? No way! You're lying! She's been in our room the whole time! So how could she give you a letter? It's almost sad how ignorant these kids are. I dunno. It sounds sort of real to me. It's the first lesson you gotta learn, kids. Chicks will fuck you every time. Not every time. I'm fucking around. Okay. Chicks are cool. Fine. I'll check her room. I like if chicks. I'm right, you better leave and never come back. Got it? Fuck no! Well, tough luck! I'm checking anyway! Don't you move! We're leaving it. No, what the fuck are you gonna do? You wooden, wooden sword game. Hey! She is gone! Give me that letter! Fuck off. Okay, well, never mind. This is definitely Jessica's handwriting. What, you didn't hear her voice too? But if she really did go to the tower, she'll end up just like her brother, Alistair. 
bad. This is really bad. We've got to do something. We've got to get her out of there. You. This is partly your fault. <laughs> this is partly your fault. So, I'll open the door to the tower. You go in and get her. Got it? Sounds like a deal. Okay. We've got to hurry. To get to the tower, go left down the path outside the village. This kid is late to the party. Oh, one more thing. I'll leave the monsters to you lot. Oh, how generous of you. Whatever you do, don't let Jessica's mum find out where she went. You're getting none of the treasure, kid. Yes, sir, bangers. Good. Come on. We've got to hurry. Yeah, you, yeah. You're getting none of the spoils from this little... Oh, fuck, he actually follows me? God damn it. Little fucking... Shit. Bangers and dick over there. <laughs> well, now it's like a... It's a, a, a... What do you call it? It's like Resident Evil 4 with Ashley and Leon. I got somebody following me around. That's not that bad. I'm sure he's not going to be in fights or anything, but... It'll be fun. If anything, I can just run fast. Oh, no, I can't run that fast. Oh, yeah, I was safe. Hopefully I can with this little shit following me around. Probably not even allowed in the church anymore. Up to your crazy antics. You're going to hell, kid. I Look at you. Yes, I would like to save, uh, if that's cool with you. Please overwrite that file. I love the save music. I do intend to continue on my adventure at this point. Dear child. Here we go. Let's head back to the tower. Get this bullshit out of the way. I do want to check out this Jessica chick, though. I heard she was pretty hot. I don't know. She's alright. She's not... She's okay. She wears a low-cut top. That's the only real... You know, she's a redhead. Your voice isn't even really that sexy. It's all right. All right. It'd be great if I could run over that infamous monster and have that kid run into it, but I know nothing would happen. It'd just be funny. I would just enjoy watching that happen. That wasn't as bad. They used to do five damage, now they do one. I'll take it. Ow. Holy shit. What is going on here? Oh, he healed himself. That was cute. <laughs> God, that fucking guy did not stand a chance. Jesus. That was rough. I feel bad. For once, I actually cared. The fact that he took the time to heal himself, I was like, huh, this guy really does matter. He's not so insignificant, and I just immediately slayed him. <laughs> oh, man. That poor fucking fox. That sucks. Uh, Yangus does not need heals yet. Though soon. Have the next battle. I'll hit him. I'll heal him up. I'll do it right. Back to the tower. Back to the lab again. Oh, there goes rabbit. He better not capture this moment. You better. Yep. Oh, just one fencing fox this time. At least you got a decent hit in. I'll give him that. And then I missed him completely. All right. At least you got two decent hit ins. I'll give him that. Hits in, not hit ins. Angus goes to level ten. HP 8, MP 2, Strength 4, Agility 2, 6 skill points. Let's allocate them. Uh, 6? Jesus. Humanity. Kind hearted. He learns heal. Yeah, he does. That's sweet. That's a good, that's good news, even though he doesn't have that much MP. Shit, I'll take heal. I'll you heal yourself right now, you little fucker. Actually, I probably won't. I will. Sweet. I'm glad he knows that. That's awesome. 
that's totally, yeah, that's great. Alright, let me in. Do your dirty work. And get the hell out of the way with the real men take care of the job. <laughs> God. I get he's a kid and he's scared and I shouldn't make fun of him, but... We all know that those characters in video games suck. The ones that basically stand in your way and make you go through all this, this is an bullshit. So I'll show you how this could this kid door. could not exist. The door could have been locked, and I could have come here, and this door, I mean Jessica's door, could have been locked, and I would have had to get the letter thing with the mouse. And then I could have come here, and this door could have been open, and this this whole character could just not exist. I mean, I, oh shit, you made that look easy. I wonder I couldn't open the door. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> It opens from the bottom. <laughs> well, this is All right, as far kid, as you're I'm going. Cool. I'll head back to the village now. You help Jessica. Did not think it was going to open from the bottom. That did surprise the shit out of me. Uh, where are we going? Like I said, this map is weird. It kind of goes all over the place, so I'll do my best to cover everything. Two beetle boys, two drac mages. Ow. Oh, these things have 18 health per, so if I can kill them both in one hit, that's ideal. Two birds, one at one turn. Nice, they also have 18 health. If you can kill them in one hit, actually, I think they have 16. If you kill them in one hit, that's great too. Nice. 42 experience, 34 gold coins. And where the hell am I going? Like I said, this map is this map is fucked, I gotta be honest. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know where I wanna go though, I wanna go get this chest which has the map in it, and that would be sweet. So I should go get that now. Somehow, I fuck it. I, I'll get to it. I'll figure it out. Let's just let's just go. Let's just go adventuring. All right. Let's let's go have some. Fucking Christ! The door's shut. Does this one open from the bottom? All right. Well, there's only one way I can go, so I guess I'm going this way. That that solved my problem for me. Confusing map doesn't matter for shit when there's only one door you can open. <laughs> All right. A frog face and an imp. The imp's pretty cute, but the frog face will fuck me when it turns around, so I'm gonna fight the imp first. Whoops! Here we go. <laughs> 22 damage, you're still standing. You are quite the imp. Asshole. Now he turns around. Now I smack him again. And now he's dead. It worked out. I think he turns back around if he lives to that second attack, though. 35 XP, 24 gold coins. I'll take it. I suppose I'm going to go this way. It's a pretty sweet little place. Like I said, I've always appreciated the way level 5 does all of this stuff. Dungeon design, level layout, everything. Even though Jessica's house is a weird hallway that goes to nowhere. That's irrelevant, but... Oh sweet, the map. That's exactly what I was looking for. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Because now it's... I'm sure now it's going to get confusing. Also, why would there be a map outside? You know what I mean? Go this way first, see if there's anything going on. Besides a couple fun ghouls and drag mage. <laughs> ah damn it. Please kill him. Nice. 16 health I think. Maybe 17. Chase goes to level 10. HP 7, MP 3, Strength 3, Agility 2, Wisdom 3, Resilience 1, 3 skill points to be allocated accordingly. We'll go 1 in Sword, 2 in Courage. 31 gold coins. What's this? I can't read it. It's gotta be some kind of tomb. Gravestone thing. Now, I think I can go around the back and find more shit, but I'm gonna go this way because, um. Fuck, I've been in here, but I'm gonna go in here again, because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's, uh, let's check out the scene. Got some rubble. That's about it. Alright. Lesson learned, don't go through that door. 
Let's try this one. If this is locked, I'm gonna be pissed. Cool. Okay, I wanna go down, because I'm pretty sure there's some cool shit down here. Definitely some cool shit down here. Let's break all this stuff. It's kinda like Dark Souls, but a little bit brighter. And not quite as deadly. Agility inputs in the bag. Ho ho! Now I suppose. Cool. I just wanted to open that just to make sure that's set. Whoops, didn't mean to go down there. Meant to go up! Yes! Alright. Maybe this map isn't so confusing. Maybe it just looks confusing on paper, because so far I'm, I'm not. I don't find myself particularly confused. I do not want to fall off there, because if I fall, I have to do a bunch of shit again. Though when I come back out, if I want a shortcut, I could do that. What are you doing on health? 166, 47, 62. Still good, I can go another fight. Also, I just crossed the 1,000 gold line. That's cool. Uh, get him! One down. Level 10 is a good place to be here, because... I think the level you need to be when you're in this area is around 9. So, 10's good. I'm ahead of the game. Nice. Good hit. That guy killed me at one point. First playthrough yesterday. First three hours of this game, one of those guys killed my ass. It sucked. First one I ever found, he was by himself and he killed me. Not anymore. Time to heal. Uh, I'm gonna have Yangus do it. Actually, I'll save Yangus' as MP. 4866. That's still. Still only down 18 health. I'm still good. One of the very few uses of math in my life. Trying to figure out <laughs> what your leftover HP is. I guess I'm gonna go in this way. At, uh, again, kinda solved my problem for me. Uh oh. So we have some puzzle bullshit going on. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but we're alright. I guess I'm fighting. Ooh, three inch. Now we can see what these guys are all about. Causes heavy damage to dragons. Really no point in doing it now, is there? No. No wonder Dragon Slash kinda sucked. <laughs> The imps, much like the slimes, are cute, but also deadly. Because they cast the whack. I don't know what that does, because they don't have any MP, but I'm sure at some point I'll figure it out. And it might suck then. <laughs> Pretty adorable. I almost feel bad. Holy shit, I don't feel bad. Not at all. Fuck these guys. That sucked. That was awful. Yeah, fuck you. How'd you like it? Little shit. All right, next time I see those guys, no more of that cute bullshit. No more, no more mamby pamby crap. Good lord. All right. What's going on here? Okay, pretty simple. Why they felt the need to put a gate here and two of those revolving fuckers? I don't know, but creates ambiance, I suppose. gonna work because I gotta go both ways because there's treasure chest one way and there's pots the other so whoops these heal slimes knew exactly what was up they were waiting for me on the other side of that door XP, 39 gold. I 
Alright. Where are we going? Alright, yeah, these are the two pods I need to break. That would be nice if I could just hop this gate that's up there. You can see it. That thing, but I can't. So I gotta go around the long way. There's a chest, so it's worth it. Again, they're waiting for you on the other side. They really are. Bunch of bullshit. Alright. Who do I attack first? The imps. The imps, the imps have that ice bullshit that will fuck me up, and that sucks, so... These guys are first to go. <laughs> Sweet. The frog faces are bad, but when they're turned this way, they're not that bad. If they have a way to turn around, though, that sucks. There we go. Yeah, then I'll just take out the frog face guys one at a time. Problem solved. <laughs> Suck it, imp. And hopefully that guy doesn't... There we go. I was going to say, hopefully he doesn't flame the shit out of me here. Smack. Nice. Good one-two punch. I need more of that. Nice. Good job. That could have been a lot harder than it was. That was good. 90 XP. That's good stuff. Um, 45, 62... Only down 17. My health, my heal heals for 30, so I'll hold off. Here we go. There should be some kind of, you know, these things, whatever. I'll take what I can get. It's free shit, who cares? Stuff that I have in my bag. A lot of stuff. Over Yangus, at least one. One will be fine. Transfer the other ones to the bag, save some room. Because you do have to have item management in this game, it's an important step. There we go. Let's get back into it. Up the stairs, and here we go. Alright, these things are different sides. Ah. Equally hard fight. Hopefully I don't get... Hopefully I don't get fucked. Last time I didn't. I, I'd appreciate if that didn't happen this time as well. Because, you know, getting owned sucks. You don't have sufficient MP. Yeah, you suck. At least this time I don't have to scroll over to him. I can just literally hit A through all of them. Or X in the case of the PlayStation 2. It's funny that all the controllers on uh, modern game consoles have an X button in it. It's funny how that works. I mean, they all have a D-pad and all that shit, but they all definitely have an X button. They all do. Even Nintendo DS has an X button. Even the PSP. All of them. All the big ones. At least I got some good XP from those fights, if anything. Okay, that's a very pointless way to go. There's not something cool on the other side, is there? It would suck if there was. Hmm. Actually, I think I went, I went the, wrong, the, the correct way. I think the other way was, was a jab. It was, it was a joke. Fucks with you. I don't think you can go that way. Two beetle boys. These fights are getting harder. Give credit. It's gonna be time to heal before I go much further. This 
I think in a second I go level six. I think I just done this little, then this level seven. But actually, no, I think I just yeah, I just got on to level six. I think about it. Nice hit. I really wanted Yangus to be my go-to damage guy, but looking at skill breakdowns, everybody says the hero should just go with spear or sword, so it's like, fuck it, I'll just stick with swords, I've already sunk points into that, and I'll just, it'll be fine. I'll let Yangus do something else. Magic, I'm gonna heal, and he's, he's down 26, which I think means it's time for him to heal too. Cool. I was a little early, but better safe than sorry. I think there's anything around this way. Oh, son of a bitch. I should definitely go back in there. A game that rewards exploration is important. It is. It reminds us of why we play. For the reward. Good stuff. Decent hit. Angus always feels like he hits for so much more. Just because, I don't know, the mallet it cracks, you know? Ah, fuck. That sucks. That's what I don't want to happen. I don't want them to go in between me and go. Nice one. I'd like him to... I'd like at least Yangus to level up again before we continue, but I don't think it's going to happen. It might, I don't know. Hopefully Jessica, when I get her, isn't some bullshit like level 7 or something. I'm like, that sucks. Take me forever to get her to catch up. Scale shield, there we go. That's why I didn't buy one earlier. Awesome. Chase has some higher defense, which is good for the final fight. Five of them. Good lord. They're not bad as long as you don't turn them around. If you turn them around, that's where you get fucked. I bet if I turned all these guys around, I would get so wrecked. Why didn't everybody just go in line? Yeah. It's <laughs> down the line from right to left. Yeah, Jesus. Bunch of assholes. Hey. Oh, you motherfucker. Good job, Yangus. Way to fuck that up. How's this fucking guy not dead yet? There we go. Like, seriously? Three hits? Jesus. Yangus is my little powerhouse, man. He is. He just does a lot of damage. It's gonna be sweet when he gets a scythe. My little powerhouse. He's like a dwarf. I mean, look at him. He hits like a champ and he's short. And fat. And hairy. And dirty. And smelly. Yeah, he... Pff. Am I doing it on heels? Yangus definitely needs it. Okay, I'll continue for now. Next fight, I'll heal them both. Well, at least, at least Chase. Chase only gets 10 more hits before I gotta heal him. Or 10 more HP. Can only afford to lose 10 more HP before I have to heal him. There we go. Jesus. I really, I really am retarded. Alright, now I'm on level 7. Which should be the boss. I'm gonna heal them both now. At least Chase. I will have. Oh, okay, good. No suck. And I did it again. Remember old school RPGs? You could actually heal yourself like ten times. You just yeah, you just waste MP. Like it sucked. I know it's only for seven health, but better safe than sorry. All right, let's fight. It's a creepy looking statue.
You! Yeah, she's alright looking. I knew you'd be back for the jewels. You killed my brother. Now you'll suffer the same fate. Oh, shit! Whoa! Man, she's throwing fire! You're fast. I guess thieves need to be quick on their toes. But you won't get away from me this time. Prepare to die! Wait, Wait you can almost get a you can almost get an upskirt. Take it out. <laughs> they did that on purpose, I promise. Jessica, it's me. Don't you recognize my voice? Uh, Alistair? Stay your spell, Jessica. I wasn't slain at their hands. Stay my spell? But it's too late! Suddenly doesn't give a shit. Alistair? Alistair? Is that really you? It's me, Jess. You have to listen to me, as do you travelers. After I died, a part of my soul was allowed to linger in this statue. Even now as I speak to you, the power keeping me here begins to evaporate. Time is short. Look into the statue's eyes. The truth lies within. Hurry! The day I died, the door to the tower was already open. I thought it was strange, so I decided to look around and see for myself. That's when I saw him. Are you? What in the fuck is going on with this? Such a pity. All right. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening here. Pity? What are you? I saw this about? when I was a kid, Who so I can explain. You? Answer me. Alistair is worshiping the statue or some bullshit, and Dualmega shows up on his way to world me. domination. I am Dualmega. Yeah. And I was referring to the fragility of human life. I don't know why this flashback is so fucked, but uh What do you it just mean? Is. My my sword. I I can't draw my sword. Then Alistair can't draw his sword. <laughs> what the fuck? This sucks, I dude. Such a pity. A terrible pity that a shining young star like you should chance to encounter me. Why does the fucking Clearly something's going on in the background. What? Like a storm, I think that is. To me. Huh. Well, I'm sorry. I shit. Something's happening here. Dual Magus. I won't forget this. Maybe the eyes on the statue are really dirty. What? You won't forget my name? You're too kind. I shall return the favor. And remember yours as well. Oh, now, nice guy. Let us finish this before I feel any more pity. Wow, what a dick. Dual makers. I sincerely hope that the game fixes after this little flashback thing, because this sucks. I. What? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Stop it! Go back. I'm sip. There's the three weird lines on the side. With the, uh... It's been an honor. Yeah, you some, some kind of images keep popping in the background. Something like bars, or... I don't know. Bars of light? Huh. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I'm ready for this to be over. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just... You can't skip cutscenes in Dragon Quest 8. You just can't. There's nothing you can do. You have to watch this shit. So, if I could skip it, I would, but I can't. So, I'm sorry. Please go back normal. All right, thank and God. Now you have seen what the statue saw. Nope. My traveling friend. I didn't see it. Did I you? I don't understand it myself. Me neither. But it seems the statue of Alexandra 
has been awaiting your arrival. If the memory of my tale can serve you on your quest, it would bring great relief to my soul. My stay here is coming to an end. It's time for us to part. No! Alistair! Don't leave me! One final thing, Jess. Mother may try to stand in your way. Nevertheless, follow your heart and do as you must. Farewell, my little sister. That's rough. What are you gonna do? What a tragic affair. Mm, there can be indeed. no question. This is Dolmagus' treachery. Cool, blimey! <laughs> Seriously, it where in the fuck did he come from? How did he get past all of the monsters to get up there? To bring to justice. His sacrifice shall not be in vain. Now, we have yet another reason to stop Dolmagus' foul reign of terror. I shall await you. <laughs> He's just stuck like that. Look at him! Jesus, that's hardcore. Well, um, there wasn't a whole lot of a boss fight there, so... Um, I really must apologize for my behavior. We'll talk more later. But I need to be alone right now. I'll see you back at the village. I'm a little disappointed. I was ready for something big, and I, I didn't get it. It was just getting up here. That was the whole challenge. I could evac, but I'm gonna run back, because I'm a piece of shit, so... Plus, there's that little... If I, just, if I get to, like, level 3 or 4, I can hop on that bridge and get out of here. Ow. You guys ever watch Beetleborgs? Remember that show? Yeah, it sucked, but there was the chick that always cracked all her fingers, remember? Yeah, that was cool. Nobody fucking remembers that, dude. No way. I bet a thousand people could watch this video and nobody would remember that show. That, no way. Nope. No way. No way. Jesus Christ. Alright, fellas, you, you want to play golf or do you want to fuck around? Let's go. There it is. That's the sailor's way. Medicinal herb, I'll take it. Man, I like that, man. Why, why have I suddenly fallen in love with level 5 games, you know what I mean? God, they're just good. They're fun fucking titles. I don't know why it is. I never I never even knew that Dark Cloud 2 and Dragon Quest 8 were both made by level 5, but they're just great games. They're good. They both are. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just favor RPGs. Maybe that's my problem. Quit healing, you dick! Oh my god. Oh my god! There we go. Sweet. One down. They just heal slimes, that's all they do. They just heal. I don't know why I got 59 XP for that, but I'll take it. Hey, the, the barrels are back. I like to think that somebody's following me around on my adventures, replacing barrels furiously. Or heal slides. Good XP just takes a long time. Kind of sucks.
Get him! Don't let those guys fuck with you. You know, I imagine there's some kind of scientists in this world, at least men of science or women of science, people that find science interesting. None of them have bothered to snag a heel slime figure out how the fuck they know how to levitate. Nobody worked that out. Yang is leveled up to 11. Health 9, MP 2. Strength 3, Agility 2, Wisdom 1, Resilience 1. Yangus gets 6 skill points. Let's allocate accordingly. Basic scythe fighting techniques increased by 5 when he's equipped with a scythe. Like I said, when he gets a scythe, it's gonna be dope. I just don't know when I'm gonna get one. <laughs> um. I don't know when I get my first I think in Port Prospect, I think. Farmer's Scythe. Yep, that's it. All I gotta do is get to the Port Prospect, and I'll be fine. Port of Prospect. Port whatever. Um. Ah! Alright. Damn it, I was almost out of there. I'm on the ground now, assholes. It figured out. Please don't smite me. Thank you. The battle scene thinks I'm still up on the thing. Nope, I'm definitely down there. It's all good though. I don't mind. Alright. Well, if Yang, if Yang is leveled up, that means that Chase is pretty close to leveling up, so that's good. That's, that's good news. Yeah, the hardest part about this thing is that there's no boss, just you have to run through the hard part, and then when you get out, it's night, so then you have to get back. So if I was, like, level 7 or something, I'd be fuck- I'd, I'd be- I'd be almost dead right now. It's, it's a good thing I'm not. Alright. <laughs> First time I've seen a monster do that, that's probably not the last, but... Sweet. 25 experience, 22 gold. Sweet. Let's head back, get some sleep at the inn, uh, see what's going on with Jessica, and then we'll be on our way. Pretty sure I'm about to, yeah, I'm, I think, yeah, I think I'm about to snag Jessica. If not, I head to Port, Port Prospect and she meets me or something. Three bodkins and a fungal? Yeah, that's all good. I'm not worried. Angus dodges the foul breath. Good job, Angus. You're learning. Hmm. Man, it's taking me a long time to kill these fucking guys. Somebody just somebody just followed me on Twitch. Sam Featherston, thanks. Tetsero, I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going, bud? This game is definitely a grind fest, but I like grinding, so I'm okay with it. I wanted something to play. It's level 5. It's in the vein of Dark Cloud 2. I think it's fun. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Did you play it when you were a kid? or did, did, not, not a whole lot? At all? Maybe? A any? I got, um... I think a couple towns past where I'm at now, and that was it. I never got that far, but I always wanted to beat it when I was a kid. You know, it's funny, the game I was thinking alternatively to this, Final Fantasy XII. I don't know if you guys ever played that, but that game's a trip. I'd say... I don't know. 12 is probably even less... It's probably even more boring to watch than Dragon Quest VIII. Because once you set up all your gambits, I mean, what the fuck are you doing? But, I mean, somebody streams it. I, maybe I'll be the first one, who knows. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I asked the inn if they'd be able to put you up for the night. Nash and I put our pocket money together, pay for it, so you better not let it go to waste. Aww. Eight gold. Maybe you're not such a little fucker after all. <laughs> nah, he's alright. Do I just like, pop into a bed? How do I... I think I just talked to this lady. You must be exhausted. Bangers told me you'd probably be wanting a bed. I assume you're ready to rest for the night. Sleep well. Thanks. You're a peach. 
I think when you get to Port Prospect, that's when they unveiled this thing, the melting pot, and hopefully they'll give me a little bit more of an explanation, because I don't remember a whole lot about it. So, yeah. Thanks. Had a great sleep. Even if there's rats. Alright, now I think... I don't know if I need to... I think I just keep going. I'll go hit the house again. If Jessica's here, I could probably snag her. If not, I... I know, I know there's no way the game's gonna let me not snag her. You know, fuck, fuck it. Why am I going back up here? I have to get Jessica at some point. You played this game when you were 19 or 20, so you're not really a kid. You've been playing FF12 recently? FF12's fun! A lot of people bitched and moaned about that game, but I thought FF12 was fun. You just woke up, your reaction time is awful. It's cool, there's a delay on the stream, so no matter what I do, the reaction time is awful. At least you have an opportunity. <laughs> like, at least you have the, the, the possibility of, of catching what I say and reacting. I don't. You respond, and I my, my response is like a minute and a half behind. It sucks. I sincerely wish there was no delay. I should probably figure out a way to, to, to get around that. I think if you're a partner, they take they, they really reduce the delay, but I'm kind of nowhere close to partner, so what are you going to do? Yeah, FF12 is a fun game. I didn't think it was that cool when I was a kid, after because I because I, I was so big on FF10. Yes, I do intend to continue. Thank you though for offering me that that lovely little reset button that I can accidentally hit and fuck up everything. Um, I didn't think FF12 was that cool when I was a kid because I just finished playing FF10 when it came out and I didn't get 11 and I wasn't that good at 10-2 even though 10-2 was different and interesting. I didn't like it as much, of course. Um, and FF12, yeah, when I was a kid, it was hard, but it's still a cool game. It still is. Like, FF12 is unique. Even though it was very similar to 11, I think. No, it was similar to... Which one? 14? I don't know. One of them is like 12. I just don't know which one. One of the online ones, I think. I'm, no, I'm wrong. I don't... I have no idea, okay? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But 12 was different than 10, and I thought it was cool. There. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're just gonna go through the forest and try to cut over to Port Prospect. I was gonna go look in the house for Jessica, but I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about, but... Yeah, she's, they're gonna have to give her to me at some point, because I know when you get to Port Prospect, you when, you when you get on the ferry or whatever, you have her, so... No matter what, I'll run into her, I think. Every Dragon Quest game has to reset, and FF12 is just too short. You beat it. You beat FF12 in three days? Seriously? Maybe I, maybe I was just bad when I was a kid, man. FF12, I, I didn't even get close to beating it in three days. Jay's goes to level 11. HP by 12, MP by 2, Strength 2, Agility 3, Wisdom 3, Resilience 1, a new spell, Sizz, and three skill points to be allocated in Courage. Yes. Get Chase learned Zoom. Part obtains 26 gold coins. I learned some magic. Let's see what this is about. As you return instantly to certain places you visited before. Sweet. It means I uh, have no need for these things. Not those. Those things. Because I can just zoom. Also, I should probably shut sell my leather shield that I don't care about. And my wayfarer is closed. Jessica might need him, though. Um, was it an ability he learned? It must have been an ability, because... Heal all is cool. I, I'm afraid to do it, but I remember using that when I was a kid. Huh. Tactics are interesting. Kind of like gambits. FF12 was cool, but damn, the main character was dull. You're absolutely right. Vaughn does not make sense as a main character. I think that was the biggest problem with it, is that... The most logical... Change everyone's equipment at the same time? What? Alright, I don't know how that works, but I'll, I'll get into that at some point. I'll check that out next time. Line up. I'll, move, I'll probably end up moving Jessica to the back. Because I know she has less health and she focuses more on magic. Angelo, too. Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> yeah, Vaughn doesn't make sense to the main character of FF12. That's the biggest problem. Fault the ear. 
or Balthier, or whatever you say it. Balthier is the main character. He is, he's the most interesting one. Like, he he gets the chick, he's the pirate, like, he's the character that Vaughn follows around. <laughs> Why is Vaughn the main character? It's like you're experiencing this story through somebody else experiencing the story. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like Stand By Me in FF12. Doesn't make any sense. Like, why not just follow them instead of following somebody following them? You know? I don't know. I assume that, you know, I, I'm the, I don't write fucking blockbuster video games. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just play them and judge, judge harshly. Like a piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, there's another chest over by Port Prospect, and this- whoops, snag it on the way. It's gonna be kinda hard, cause it's in a weird place, but I think I can get it. Hopefully there's no infamous monsters guarding it, cause that would suck. I think it'll be alright. Bodkin, Jail Cat, Spiked Hair. Okay, I have not experienced a Jail Cat or a Spiked Hair, but I have experienced a Candy Cat and a Bunny Corn, which are the lower versions of that. The spiked Hair decided to psych himself up, and the Candy Cat licked me. Alright. Ow. Use your goddamn shield, Yangus, you fucking oaf. Jesus. Tension level returns. Alright, the jail cat's playing around. Sure. How you like me now? Spike tear psychs itself up. Jail cat's toast. And the spike tear takes a hit. Ow. 15 damage, really? Really? Assholes. It's a rabbit in a field, for Christ's sakes. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. There you go. It does it in the most efficient way possible. No work. My problem is they cast heal three goddamn times. When really I would have only wanted to cast it two. Like that's yeah, that's the problem with that thing. Because if you're incredibly lazy and really don't give a shit. I do give a shit, even though I am incredibly lazy. And if that means that I have to take the time to go assign my shit, then I'll, I'll do it. I'll do what I gotta do. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Whoops, maybe not. Two hammer hoods shouldn't be a problem. It's gonna be sweet when Yangus gets to the site. This is gonna be cool, I'm telling you. Oh, he psyched himself up. Hopefully. Angus kills him before he gets a chance to use whatever attack he was gonna. Alright. That is a cat wandering around. Makes you wonder if there's all these monsters running around. And adventurers can barely get through this shit. How the hell can cats survive out here? Especially with jail cats. I can't believe you beat FF12 in three days. That's nuts. I can't think of any Final Fantasy anybody I know has ever beaten in three days. Jesus. Did you, like, marathon session? Like, how'd you do it? Three days. Wow, that... You probably don't think that's as impressive as I do, but that legitimately blows my mind. No way, dude. It's hard for me to think of any video games you can beat in three days. Well, I, I take it back. There's a lot you can beat in three days. But you know what I mean. Uh, that's... Okay, I think it's this way. This should be right. And if not, it's very close to where it is. Cat's too strong, sleeper. I got. I got to be honest. I don't know what that means. Oh, the cats that are wandering around. Yeah, they probably are too goddamn strong. They know something I don't. That was just have good agility. Shit. Ow! Fuck. I'll probably kill those guys for shit. What can I say? I'm classic. I like just go down the line, left to right. It's simple. They bank on this shit, I know it. That's why they're always in the end. Just sat and played for 12 hours a day, I think. Either you're serious or you're joking, but either way, I respect you. Uh, how am I doing? 55, 75. 
And back into the game. Hey, Siglemix live for anybody that watches him. I don't know why I just advertise another streamer on my stream. Whatever. Siglemix is cool. I wish he did more. I, re I really do. 